Let me bring in now a Labor frontbencher, former Labor frontbencher, that is Michael Danby, joining me live from Melbourne. Great to talk to you, Michael. I'll, I'll get your thoughts on some of that in just Hi, a moment, but let me start with the topic I asked you on uh, to discuss, and that is Labor's position on Israel and the Palestinian territories. Is that under threat at the national conference coming up later this year? I think Labor have been strong on foreign policy so far, but are you worried that the socialist left of the party are starting to wield their influence and, and could, and could uh, change the, par the party's stance on that? Chris, in the real world, the uh, Iranians have just tested a, a hypersonic missile the International Atomic Energy Agency has said they've, they've got enough fissile material for four atom bombs. But in the Bob Carr, Cloud Cuckoo land uh, politics together with the Queensland socialist left, there is a chance that assurances that have been made that this issue won't be uh, uh, blown out of all proportion won't come to pass. Now, the thing I want to emphasise to you is the context, uh, Chris. Uh, the uh, socialist left will have the clearest majority since the 1955 split. Um, Queensland and Victoria in particular uh, leading the charge and that means uh, that issues like AUKUS will be very big and the, the socialist left will be suffering from a conflict of disloyalties because um, they'll have to either defend their uh, Prime Minister and Foreign Minister who are in favour of AUKUS um, or oppose it as the Queensland conference did recently. So what this means is the assurances that have been given to the Jewish community in Israel uh, on their issue, uh, they might be thrown under the bus um, in order to secure the socialist left support at the national conference in August in Brisbane. Yeah, it's, it's a strange situation. The socialist left so uh, dominant, as you say, at the conference, a socialist left prime minister and foreign minister, yet at the moment they've been very solid on these important alliance issues and, and let's hope that remains the case, but they're going to come under pressure at times from their own party.